What up y'all, it's T-Biz here. It's been a while. I just haven't felt like doing any videos for a hot minute. Just kind of burn out on stuff. I think it's social media that's doing to me. I think it's like Facebook and stuff is really burning me out on people and, and just things. But anyways, I'm gonna shut the hell up and we're gonna check out this um, G.I. Joe classified series, Cobra Televiper and Cobra Flight Pod, the trouble bubble. And even before we get into it, we're gonna go ahead and read up on it and try to upload the file cards if I can for like a second or so. But lately, man, I don't know, it's, it, I guess there's been some kind of something wrong with the software for uploading the file cards because they've been jacking up every video that I've done. Um, so first off, we'll read about uh, the good old Cobra Communications, uh, codename Televipers, uh, file name classified, primary military specialty communications, uh, secondary military specialty electronics, birthplace various countries. These are the RTOs, radio telecommunications operators of the Cobra Ground Forces. They carry standard modular radio pack that contains as a main unit, a VHF transceiver uh, equipped with an automatic frequency hopper, a crypto unit, and passive jamming and anti-jamming devices. These televiper helmets contain high-resolution earphones with overload dampeners and two sets of voice-actuated um, microphones. The interior of the helmet offers an alternate, alternative LED readout triggered through the optional computer pack optional transmission modes include microwave beam and laser uh, both available as add-ons to the basic pack so that's a whole lot of tech for 1985 man but i think i don't know maybe even since the nazi era that uh they've just had all kinds of crazy technology that they've just slowly unleashed uh you know a, uh, you know a little bit here and there but anyways um I could be wrong. What the hell do I know? But anyways, uh, another uh, file card I lifted from, uh, this one's lifted from uh, his tank.com. It's the Cobra Flight Pod. Let's see, designation, air vehicle, weapons, uh, missiles, cannons, mines. Uh, Cobra Flight Pods are small jet propelled aircraft that can be flown by Cobra pilots or operated as unmanned reconnaissance drones. So you don't even have to have a pilot in it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, each Cobra Flight Pod has two laser seeking anti-tank missiles and a mini cannon for air to ground assault nicknamed trouble bubbles by the gi joe team because of the clear dome canopy cobra flight pods were used by cobra to attack the october guard i wonder if they're gonna come out with those dudes the october guard in um in good old uh classified anyways probably and steal a new laser weapon in battle they buzz around like annoying hornets before blasting targets with their powerful stingers so there you have it, folks. There you have it. Anyways, um, yeah, the front of the box looks pretty cool. Got a bunch of Televipers cruising around. Makes me think of uh, Jamie the Televiper on Instagram. Let's see, and uh, here's the various weapons that it comes with. All the stuff that the Televiper's supposed to come with. And uh, yeah, interesting, man. And then uh, side of the box, number 79, the QR code. And then on the back, we've got our Televiper. I never had a Televiper, and I didn't have a Trouble Bubble necessarily, I don't think, as a kid. Um, I had, like, the 25th anniversary one or whatever, Trouble Bubble, but I never had it. I don't even know if I had the Televiper. From, ah, I think I did. Anyways, from the 25th anniversary series, but uh, there's a lot of stuff it comes with. And I guess it's a flat pot is 5.8 inches. And here's a look at the Televiper again on the side. And, yeah, let's go ahead and get this open and check it out. We must do a proper unboxing. Here's the Televiper Trouble Bubble. There's more stuff right here. Oh, there's the Trouble Bubble. Cool, man. I think that is it. Another box. Um, yeah, that's it. So there you go, man. Let's go ahead and get this, this busted right, folks. out. And here we have them both. And uh, let's go ahead and get this gear busted out. Got some more stuff right here. More stuff right here. And I think that is it, man. I think that's all we got. And bust the stuff out. All our accessories. Okay, cool. All right. Oh, cool. Okay, here's a little rudder thing. So a little jet engine rudder thing. So that's cool, man. Nicely packed. Oh, cool. Neat, man. That's rad. That is freaking cool. I mean, it's it's rad how, like, much a plain kind of goofy old G.I. Joe vehicle can translate awesomely in classified series. It's 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 nuts, man. So let's see what all we have. 
Here's the little turbine engines, little rudders. That's cool. PE49L7A. Danger, hot exhaust. It's taken down three Sky Strikers. That's cool. That's red. And here's the mines that it comes with. It comes with one mine. Um, it looks like it kind of opens up. Let's see. Uh, oh, dang it. Yeah, it just snaps open. And then you got some mechanisms in there. So in case you got to, I don't know, defuse it or something. There you go. That's cool, man. And it just closes back. Whoop up if you don't lose the hatch to it or whatever. Definitely I feel like you want to be careful with this piece. It's really tiny. That's cool though man. That's really freaking cool. I don't even know if I can read that. That is so freaking tiny dude. Wow. Might have to pause it and see if you can read it. Yeah right there. Highly explosive handle with care to remove press latch release. <laughs> That's funny man. That's hilarious. Alrighty, and we get another head so you can have a African-American dude or, you know, or could that be a lady? Could be a lady. It could be a lady. Didn't have to, but, well, then again, it'd be a lady with no chest, but, uh, or a dude or whatever, and a white man. So, yeah, that's cool, man. We forget about all the Hispanics, but oh, well, we're always forgotten about. Anyways, and uh, here's another, like, new school looking tech helmet. This thing's badass. That's cool, dude. So if you want to give them a, a new look. That is freaking cool. That is freaking cool, man. That's awesome. Here's that goofy gun that he comes with. So that's cool. Too bad they don't give you like some little like weird translucent force wave thingy thing that could come off of it or something. That'd be kind of cool. Here's the hose that goes to it, I believe. I think you just plug this in the backpack like so. Because I never had a televiper, but I'm, I remember what they came with. So there you go. Plug it in. Here's his backpack. So that's groovy, man. And then you can just plug it in to the back. So yeah, that's awesome, dude. And here's another thingy. I don't know what this goes to, but we'll figure it out where it goes. Um, got two of them, two of those. Here's the anti-tank missiles, which they might go for the missiles. Yeah, to be able to attach the missiles. So there you go. A little bit closer look at the detail on those. And then here's the gun that goes on the trouble bubble itself or flight pod. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. And I think that is it. We'll look at the trouble bubble a little closely. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and add this gun to it, man. Try not to break anything on this video. Man. Oh. I should heat that up, but we'll just pop it on like so, I guess. Oh, I don't know. I feel like... Mm. Oh, dude, that's that makes me cringe so bad. And you can see some stress. Some stress in there. Whatever, but... Oh, well. That's where you're supposed to put it. So, <laughs> there you go. Should probably heat it up, though. Let's try that first. Let's take it off and do it again. I mean, it's already kind of ah, on. Screw that. Once you got it on, you got it on. Screw it. So there you go. That's cool. So it can swivel. But you can see where it's stressed, though. So, yeah. Oh, well. Oh, well. I think it's got a hole for blasties, so you can put blasties on there if you want to. Um, let's get this one from the Valkyrie. So there you go, man. That's cool. That's red. Freaking cool, man. And, um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, add the other stuff on it. But before that, we'll look at a little more of the details. I'm kind of all over the place. It's been a long night, long day. But, uh, yeah, it's cool, man. Reminds me of the robot from Short Circuit. Johnny Five. Um, oh, there's a look at the computer readout thing. If we can get that in there. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we'll try that again. Uh, it's just, uh, yeah, it just is what it is. A little radar thing. So, yeah. And then you got inside some painted uh, little lights and mechanisms and stuff, and like a hose right there. Got a seat belt that snaps in, the bubble dome that snaps in too. 
Or just slides in. That's cool, man. Another little radar thing, I guess. Or thing to help sight or something, maybe. I don't know. Man. It's weird. And, um, yeah, man. So that's cool. Another little jet right there to make it go forward, I believe. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, add all the crap to it, man. All right, y'all. Before we finish off this painstaking view uh, review, I'm gonna we're gonna check out this guy again a little bit closer to detail. Got a funny look. He reminds me of like a Fisher uh, Price Adventure People guy. It's pretty hilarious. Anyways, I'm having a really rough go at today. Been too out of practice. Um, he's got a cool little readout on his forearm. Just a lot of detail going on with this guy, man. A lot of cool detail. He's got like a little watch thing, a little Fitbit. Um, yeah, other than that, same standard articulation, butterfly joints, bicep, swivel, all that. Uh, double elbows, all pinless. Swivel with the hand, side hinge, splitsies, drop down hips, which are getting kind of old with these. Um, not big on the drop down hips with these. Uh, double knees, but man, his are pretty freaking tight. Uh, all pinless. And you got a, a ankle, like a mid calf cut or whatever, ankle cut or whatnot. It's not so much an ankle, but or boot or whatever. And then you got a rocker pivot swivel. It's a little bit tight too, man. And the ballerina swivel and yeah it's pretty much standard stuff waist twist and he's got a vest over his uh midrib so yeah there you go there you go folks and then looking in at the vr helmet which is pretty freaking cool if you want to have a new advanced look which is rad but just we'll stick with the old school look and we have our our darker skin fellow so that's cool man freaking really cool we'll go ahead and throw him on man even though I like sticking with the old school look, but hell, man, why not? That's cool. Hell yeah, dude. Rad. Um, so we've got the backpack we can put on him. So let's get that up on him real quick. Or try to, or attempt to at least. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Okay. And, oh, damn it. And here he is with his gun and backpack, and he can put a blasty in it if you want to, so that's cool. It does work like that, so that's awesome. Awesome stuff. Alrighty, folks, and here he is in the trouble bubble. This thing's badass. I like it a lot. Um, I figured one thing you can do, too, is uh, I couldn't figure out where to put the mine because this didn't want to seem to open up. But it's got the little nubs, and it's got a hole right there, so what you can do is just press that in there. And uh, ever so snugly. And yeah, you can have a place for the mine. And also with the mine too, there's like two little rings too, I noticed. So if you wanted to string it on something or whatever, you could do that too, somehow. I don't know, you have to figure it out. But uh, that was the only idea I could, because I looked online and I think somebody else was like, where do you put the mine? I don't know, you know, or does it just sit in the seat or whatever, this and that. And um, yeah, it can peg in right there. So it's not bad at all. And um, it's not kind of ideal because the gun's going to have to move eventually and it's going to knock it out of place. But if you just want a spot to put it, that'll work. Um, other than that, this trouble bowl is pretty badass. I wouldn't mind getting another. They're freaking cool, man. I dig it a lot, dude. It's freaking rad. Freaking cool, cool little vehicle, man. It's, it's just, you know, it's just an old school G.I. Joe mini rig. But it, like I said, uh, translates really well, man. Love to see more vehicles come out, man. That are affordable that aren't like crazy kickstarters so i did kickstart the dragonfly so i should be getting that hopefully next year but yeah this thing's badass man i really like it a lot dude it's really cool and that and if you get more than one of these you can army build them you can have a dude with the vr hat you can have a white dude you can have a black dude yeah everybody man so it's freaking cool man freaking amazing dude i really dig it man such a plain dorky vehicle from oh there goes the mine back in the day um such a plain dorky vehicle it is like just pretty freaking cool man pretty cool and i don't think there's anywhere else to peg it on like the gun or anything like that if you wanted to might be able to i don't know i don't think that backpack opens up but uh or could you peg that in there i don't know anyways we're not gonna try but anyways that's a look at the trouble bubble i digs it a lot and the tail viper freaking cool man i want one more dude <laughs> it'd be kind of cool to have just at least maybe one or two more um but another thing too is um no flight stand i don't know what the hell you would do for a flight stand 
because it would be rad to have a flight stand for these. To, um, for what it, I don't know, it's asking a lot to say it would, if this would have came with the flight stand. But, uh, yeah, it is what it is. Anyways, uh, if you guys have any ideas, let me know. But, uh, once again, thanks for watching, y'all. Have a good one. All right, later.